Spell functions as false life, except you gain temporary hit points equal to 1 2d10 per caster level. Mm -mm. Oh wait, none of these are mass, right? No, okay. Uh, the target creature's intelligence and charisma score drop, each drop to one. The affected creature is unable to use intelligence or charisma based skills. Uh, that's not very good. We could do whole monster, which is I know a great one. Waves of negative energy render all living creatures in the spell's area fatigued. The spell has no effect on creatures that is already fatigued. Okay, so this is kind of like a wall thing. Let's get at least one hold monster in this group. Cool. Now we have a way to heal the skeleton, too. So maybe he can stay up for more than a minute. Definitely Conjuration, because that's that's her main skills, right? I just want to make sure. Conjuration. It's our pool. Hold on, I'm trying to see the ones that I already have got for her. Hungry Pit is Conjuration, okay. Uh, Phantasmal Perfection, all enemies within 30 foot burst centered or target within medium range. You can plant the mind of target illusion, their skin is rolling away. Oh yeah, it's this one, okay. So mean. Um, okay, I'm a media science dragon-like creature. Spell functions like heroism, except this creature gains plus four morale bonus on attacks. Um, you need fear, temporary hit points. Yeah, let's do this. Summon huge elemental. I think I want to do summon monsters four. But there's chain lightning. Oh, that's such a good spell. This spell creates an electric discharge that begins at a single stroke commencing from your fingertip. Unlike light, uh, lightning bolt, chain lightning strikes one object or creature initially, then arcs to the other. But the only problem is, is like it's gonna hit my allies because we need to give her that feat. I think she might have it already. Conjuration, spell penetration, augmented summoning. What is this? Spell focus illusion. Um. I mean, there's greater spell penetration, which is always nice. Greater fortitude, improved lightning reflexes. I'm trying to think, is there... Do 
feel like there's that one spell I saw for somebody and now I can't find it for her where it doesn't affect allies. I just don't think her class has it, I guess. With the aid of... No, oh, no, this is the other one. Okay. Um... Focus. Durance, Greater Fortitude, Initiative, Iron. Doesn't seem to have that spell thing. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and just Greater Spell Focus Conjuration. So those pits mean something still. Okay, so we'll do Heroism. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A blast of furnace hot wind blasts downwards, inflicting 46 fire damage, one point per caster to all creatures in that area, knocking them prone. Successful. Oh my god, it's this one. She's not really an invoker, though. Um, dude, this spell is so sick. Well, it was in Pathfinder. It was kind of broken in Pathfinder. Kingmaker. Man, this is going to attack my own dude, so I don't want to do that. Let's... Let's get some big monsters out. This time. I'm going to eye that, though. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Cool. Alright. Moving armies again. Wolf's up here. I think I want to take him here. I think he could fight this. I'm pretty sure he can fight those. Alright. What is my income at? I just want to see how much... Oh, yeah. I have... I have a little bit of income. Let's do this. Oh, that's where the exclamation's for. Okay. Oh, mounted scouts. Thanks, game. Convicts. Spearmen. Right. Only ten archers. You guys are marching towards Wolf. No. Nope. Nope. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. I messed that up. Um, but it's pretty good. How about yours, man? Oh no! It was before this. All right, we gotta recap this real quick. Sorry, but I already made my decision, so we're doing proof cleaving. Paladin, dude, dude. Dude. All right, and tower shield. Nice. How did the uh, practice go? How long have you been playing the piano for? Fighter. Rapid shot. Scoundrel. I 
forgot what I picked. I think it was improved critical dagger. Right? It is now. I know I picked S stock. Um enemy dead. No, I thought about enemy dead. I didn't pick enemy dead. Dimension door and greater invisibility. Nice. Very cool. Combat casting. Then we gave her inflict moderate wounds. Serious wounds. Critical wounds. And... I changed my mind. Let's do K fangs. This do 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 create a spell for conjuration and we chose heroism and summoning. Quick save. We're gonna come over here. We're going to buy all the archers, buy all the spearmen, conscripts, clerics. Wow, we didn't get. We didn't get shit. Okay, so you guys are going to head down here, here, wait, just head here. Okay, excellent. Okay, and then we're going to grab Wolf. He's gonna come around here. Oh, he's out of energy. Which do you guys have? 11? Can you get here? That's alright. He'll pick these units up when he passes by. Dead. Start making our way south. Save Crimson Dust. Not this way. So a quick save. Okay. <laughs> well, at least you know where one is. What the hell just happened? My archers. <laughs> oh no. This isn't good. 
just wait. Quick save, though. Interesting that these were like kind of our allied units. Well, you have to know where this middle sea is. It's like, uh, um, yeah, it's like super important. And then, like on the scales, just remember every good boy does fine. Like when you're reading notes. I think those are the things that I remember the most. Come on, we gotta get them down faster than they can get us down. There we go. Yeah, see, now they're only taking one at a time. Do burning liquid. Let's go ahead and find out where these units are right now. Let's weigh the balls up here. Needs to be down here. Just keep moving him in a direction that will get to him eventually. Okay, these are just my scouting troops. Have him move three more. Okay, so that and Wolf Sado moves. Let's check out our decrees. <clears throat> Events. Some strange drunkard is claiming that the commander is obliged, yes, obliged to grant him an audience. Okay, we'll have to go back later. An army of thieves wishes to join the crusade, but one can depend on the miscreants only after they've become undead. Okay. I'm probably going to fold that into this undead army and then move the archers to the other army. I'm wondering. Uh. Just looking. So there is, there is a mage. A 
I should get a mage at some point. I can't afford it. Okay. Um. So we just captured this place. Let's build. I center. Uh, let's do in as well. Then just do basic garrison. I feel like every fortress should have an inn. We have garrison, supply center. Can't build an inn here. So I've had 72 more, or so 72 of these. I have 26, so I would need 50, 52, 52, 52, 52, 46, not 460. Let's build this here. Okay. Just trying to keep my stuff up and up. Oh my god, we don't even have buildings here. Uh, supply center, obviously, 90 and 45. I think I'm checking this. <laughs> I'm back. All right, this is what we're doing. So just yeah, we'll do this next, but we're still waiting. And prayed. Okay needs to hurry up okay we did combine that new group yeah okay then they'll be able to move up that. They don't. We should probably go figure out who that drunk is that wants to talk to us. Uh, let's do Green Gates or the Molten Scar first because we're here. Definitely heavy barding. Without a doubt. And then we'll just like any. Yeah. Mm hmm. -hmm. Then we'll just get like as much stuff that we can add on to them as possible. 
Like Die Hard would be great. Iron Will. Just anything to make it impossible for him to die. <laughs> no worries, dude. I'm sorry to have bored you. <laughs> no reason to pause. Uh, did I mess up again? So she actually has to touch him to do these. So I'll remember that. Let's just burn through these. Never use these. So this is gonna come here. She's always healing. Never use that. We should be using these. If we need it, we'll use it. Never use this. would be okay sometimes but I never use it like she's she's straight up spell casting so like it's really hard for me to make her do anything beyond not spell casting she's always healing so it makes it hard for me to do anything beyond just healing I guess I could put this out here because I might use it I feel like that doesn't ever work. Okay. Let's just have her thing out. Yes. He's got a lot of health. Yes. Okay, and I don't have a tower shield on me, right? I, I know I have one at home. Not here. Oh, check this out. This is an intermediate step of a relic creation. Okay. So we'll keep it around. Still light, so I don't need to go back to town. Uh, what does this do? Whenever the wearer of this amulet is under blood rage effect, they gain healing for five. Healing five for the duration of the effect. Okay, I don't know if anyone has that in my group. This is Dexterity and Constitution. Do you have a belt? Plus two Dexterity. Might as well give you some Constitution while we're here. Not like it's going to hurt you. Okay. So when we get back to town, I have to remember the barding, the heavy barding, and... Um, And then the tower shield. Because right now he's 37, right? Why is he all spotted like that? So yeah, plus three mounted shield, so it'll be plus five mounted shield. And then we'll have... 
So this is the muscle warmer, right? Yeah. Be able to put the better uh, barding on. All this seems right. Gel dagger, dagger plus one. Just want to look at his daggers. Nine to twelve. Oh, this is the constitution damage one. This increases multiplier by three. What does it mean when it has double agile? Agile weapons are unusual, well balanced, and responsive. A welder. With a weapon finesse feet can choose to apply her dexterity modifier to damage rolls with an agile weapon in place of the strength modifier. This modifier damage is not increased for two-handed weapons. Okay. GD5. That that's the constitution damage. Can't even use S stocks. Oops. Okay. Okay. No, no, everything's going to go as planned. Will be perfect. Everything will be fine. Guys, no one moving here. A bright future awaits us. Why can't he move? Okay. It feels like most of the bugs can be handled by just simply saving and loading. Okay. Oh god. Beautiful. Feathered beast, I'll choke all of you. Get your talons off me. Well then quit walking with him over there. Words that I'm not going to try to say. <laughs> Thomas, what have you done? What have they done to you, you monstrous beasts? He gave him a tail. That's pretty sick. Now, get the second one over here. Uh, stop the Virox sorcerers. I will after a quick save. Make sure. They will Shit. That I don't go into a trap. Okay. Force reality on these guys. I got this. Okay, get into big mode, please. Actually, come come up here and do force reality again, because there's two other dudes that are trying to screw up our vibe here. Several other dudes. How is Roche doing? Good. Is Nenio or uh, Windwalk hitting? Windwalk is hitting. 
and she has rapid shot. So she's firing two arrows around with minus two penalty, but is she hitting? Well, she crit that one. Hit. So she's got a plus 21 modifier, even with deadly aim and rapid shot on. So she's fine. She's... She's fine. Uh... I was just afraid to put too much on her, like, without heroism. But she seems to be okay. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. You need to force reality again. Why can't you not drink these? You're gonna cast this on yourself since you're out of combat. You're gonna turn that off. Gally Bro is gonna turn this off as well. He's stunned. Okay. For 77. Who's doing this? Windwog is. Dude, she keeps critting. Like, I'm not complaining. It's just insane how much damage she's doing. No, oh, who got hit? Oh, Roach got hit once. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get to that. You're gonna do this. All right, everyone, focus Surrender this. Cover me, all right. Oh god, dude, we are chopping through these Virox. Into the fray. Bro, turn big, please. We'll pretend that, like, he didn't completely miss that battle. Mm. Quickly. Let's see what we can do. A large V-Rog looks at you, craning his disgusting bald neck. Her piercing screech sounds menacing. Why are you here? Do you want to become demons too? v will transform you right away. Um... Do I want to become a demon? Ah, uh, who are you? Boromiric? The Virok sticks her chest out and spreads her massive black wings. Boromiric. Wise Virok. Magical Virok. Snatcher of pathetic humans. Maker of demons. Okay, I'm down. Other Viroks said Boromark was dumb. Leave chicken head, they said. And Boromark became the favorite student of wise Xanther, the plagued one. And now is making demons out of humans. Who is dumb now? Um, you still you. Drops the saliva, fly out of the animal's beak, carrying the stench of death. Okay. Uh, so, so what are you doing here? Unblinking bird eye stares at you. Vormach is making an army. She sent her flock to get humans, silly crusaders at night. The one she steals, she transforms. Make good demons with sharp teeth who will kill you. Aha. Uh -huh. The V-Rock bursts into shameless, uh, screeching laughter as she looks at her deformed prisoners. Why, Xanther, the plagued one, told, me, told her to fly here and gather an army. Harm humans. He doesn't have time to do it himself. He is busy reading and thinking. He said he would give Virok horrifying power, like the strongest demons have. 
Why Xanther the Plagued One knows the secret, how to pour more power into demons. When he rewards the Virok, she will tear off the heads of everyone who banished Vormark. Okay. And with the others, she will hunt you from the skies, pathetic humans. Uh, what did you learn? Uh, so, uh, where did you learn how to turn humans into demons? Just out of curiosity. Virok shows her wrinkled red fist. A piece of paper is clenched within it, smeared with soot and blood. Old knowledge. The wise Virok read it and did it. Okay. Mind if I have that piece of paper? Savvy Tiefling has serious doubts that the Virok has ever read anything in her entire life. Sadly, Tiefling thinks the wise Virok is telling fibs. <laughs> Making demons out of humans? Oh, how fascinating. I've never heard of such transmutations before. A sheet of paper and a pencil appears in Nenio's hands. My dear colleagues, please share your valuable experience with me. How do you do it? Even a broad outline would be most welcome. I like Nenio. The Virok. Um, the Virok walks around, flaps her wings, snapping her beak, chitter chattering the strange words. And all the while, the little human bones wriggle out of their skins. Their eyes pop out of the socket. Their tongues flop out of their mouths, all blue. Just as written, that's what happens. Nenio frowns, looking unconvinced. Allow me to challenge your account, Madame Virok, and engage in a scholarly debate with you. <laughs> it's extremely unlikely that in the rift, irrefutable scientific work, you would find the words chitter-chatter. Oh my god, Nenio. <laughs> she is amazing. <laughs> She's like seriously about to debate bro this rock. <laughs> All right. The intimidated creature bursts from the demon. Or uh, from uh, the indignant screech burst from the demon. The Virok is wise. The Virok could not read the scratch scratchers, but Xanther the Plague One ordered the Virok to get Silver Tongue Elf who knows ancient words, and he translates everything. He was screaming in pain while Xanther was eating him. Oh my god, you did not... You did not eat the storyteller. Uh, give me the paper or I'll scatter your brains all over the rocks. The Virok recoils warily and lets out an angry skill. What? Have you come to get the paper? Take your stupid paper. The Virok will find a new one, even better one, and Virok will kill you. Kill you. Curling the paper, the Virok throws it at your feet to distract you. I pick it up. There it is. Do not oh my god, we need that piece of paper. Banish. Heal. Roach. Roach. Bruh. Bull rush him. Get stunned too much. No, did he kill him? He did. Poor Skelly. together first page smeared with blood and soot please tell me we can use this please tell me we can use this this paper is old and stained and black with blood in places some has written over the ancient elven runes in blood just one fragment in the corner is readable not a portal but a soft spot in the space of the world many gods and demons have the power to open such a rift but doing this will not be to their liking, so they will leave the request unanswered. Therefore, one should pronounce the word Ravuk when creating a such a rift. It is an ancient and mighty word of power that belongs to a language now forgotten. This word means no name. Mages of the past often wove it into the texts of their incantations to shelter themselves from the anger of those forces disturbed by rights against nature. Okay. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, I'll, I'll get you guys out in a second. But we got... Bro, chill. He'll be fine. This war Here, do your free heals. The girl raises her eyes to you. She's deathly pale, either from exhaustion or terror. You don't know. Night Commander, it's you. It is me. Jenna, by the gods, come on, look alive. We're going to get you out of here. Uh, so how did you wind up here? I got lost. I lost my way when I ran. I walked and walked with no food, and then the rocks came, and she shuddered and peers around with haunted eyes. Did you perform the ritual, or did they perform the ritual on you? The one they did on the two captured crusaders? Not before you got here, but they said I'd be next. And I couldn't do anything. I just had to w watch and wait. So, um, what am I supposed to do with you now? She gathers her remaining scraps of strength and deep breath. I know you're angry with me because I ran. I left you in the middle of a fight against the demons. I deserted my duty, but I... It was my first real battle against actual demons. Uh, she's so scared she can barely think straight. We need to get her out of here. Okay, but she's a deserter of the Eagle Watch. You can rescue her, but afterwards she's going straight into a cell. The commander formed a lawful action. Jenna starts speaking in rush words. It seems she reached the limit of her fear. Back in Minovan, everyone always praised me for my fencing skills. I mainly fence in tournaments and duels. A couple of times I came up against actual marauders. I won every encounter. I always won, and I thought... I thought I'd come to Mendev, join the crusade, and cover myself in real glory. The truth is, I soon realized that I'd been foolish, silly girl. I realized it before the attack on Kenebris. But then I met you, Sila, and that changed everything. Everything came so easily to you. You could fall into the caves below Kenebris, survive terrible dangers, and then turn around and order a tankard of ale in the tavern just like it was nothing. You went on the attack of Great Garrison and came back stronger than ever. Now a companion of Amonai's chosen one. And then there's your motto, no glory without risk. You were the heroine I had always imagined myself to be. And so that's why I insisted on going with you or going with you after those demons. I wanted to keep up with you. And I was prove I was as good as you. And look where it led me. Jenna breaks into wrecking sobs. Sila looks shaken and distraught, gritting her teeth. You heard what the commander said, Jenna. Wait here, and soldiers from Jezen will come for you and take you to prison. And if it counts for anything, I'm sorry. And... All right, I'm going to switch this. Of course, we're going to help you, Jenna. Okay, so she still knows she's going to prison. This crazy, uh, crusader in front of you looks terrible. His skin is charred and cracked, oozing blood. Horrible claws grow under the nails, tearing from the fingers, and barely controlled madness is flickering in his eyes. The wheezing comes from the knight's bloody throat. It is like a growl of an animal. Help, in the name of all the gods. Sila, who had been watching the knight with an expression of sympathy, suddenly jerks away and points to the farthest cage, another figure, and hunkered down inside. One of them seems, seems suspiciously familiar. It looks like Jenna, the new recruit of Eagle Watch, who deserted from the demon's attack on the Houndred camp. <clears throat> so who are you? Gathering all his strength, the knight gives a short, clipped reply, reporting that he's been trained to do. Crusade, abducted during an exploration mission. I'm Wallard. This is Tomas. The knight nods as his friend. The later cannot speak. His pointed teeth are growing without stopping, and they have pierced through his lower jaw, sealing his mouth shut. He is moaning something fiercely, his bloodshot eyes rolling wildly. Do you know anything about the girl in the other cage? No. They brought her here after. She could barely stand. She was weak from exhaustion. Looked like she hadn't eaten in days. Vrock tossed her in the cell and haven't touched her scent. She hasn't talked to us either. 
How did you get here? The flames of fury is raging in the crusader's eyes. We were exploring the gorge on the Nivea's orders, and we ran into them. Farak attacked us, beat us up, and dragged us here. We thought they wanted to eat us. Oh, gods. It would have been better if they had. You shouldn't have underestimated the guile of demons. The night stopped. A soft, unpleasant sound is heard amidst the silence. The grinding with crusader's horrific teeth. Finally, a night chokes the response. We have families, commander. Save us. Uh, what did they do to you? We were put through some horrific ritual. Maybe that's how Aurelia tormented her test subjects. The pain is unbearable, Commander. Like being dipped in boiling water and then dragged over a grater. I saw the abyss. It lunged at me like a wild beast, pouring vile poison into me. It entered my bones, turning them into molten metal. The Vrox said that I would be their soldier. Thomas and I are far from the first ones they've done this to. I think they make kind of a tunnel through the cruel world and the filth gushes in from there. They pump it into us and make us fight for their side. It pains me to think about it, but a few times I thought the demons I killed looked like some of my friends. People I thought had died. Now I know what happened to them. The first hand knowledge of the subtle influence of the Abyss's emanation to have endured such a fundamental transmutation and retain their sanity. I'm truly delighted for you. I even envy you a little. If only I could have a chance to participate in such groundbreaking experiment. Um, what should we do with you now? Help us or kill us, but don't abandon us like this. This pain is unbearable. It takes over my mind. I'm afraid I will kill someone. Maybe the clerics can cure us. Oh. Windjog, you joined the crusade to fight, and you turned out to be lousy at it. Now you've been given the strength to needed to crush your enemies, seize it, and use it. Don't ball up about it like children. What happened to you is a blessing, not a curse. Wendog, if you think this happened to them is a good thing, will you take them under your command? Of course. I will send them to my tribe. They will watch over them, and yes, train them to fight to the death and never be taken prisoner again. If they're as dangerous in battle as they look, maybe we'll make a decent fighter out of them. The knight looked desperate, but he finds with himself to give a stalwart nod. All right. We'll go to the mongrels and not inflict ourselves on good ordinary folk. There's no need to sow strife in their hearts, but we are still crusaders. If an hour of need should come, you can count on us, commander. With your permission, Tomas, I will search this vicinity. Now the rock have ousted, we need to gather the victims. We'll make sure they make it to the mongrels. I wonder how we get the demon mythic pass. Might be trap, might be treasure. Nice. What were those gloves? These gloves grant the wear plus four bonus to ranged touched attacks. And five competence bonus to use magic device skills. Weird. Give it to you just because they used magic device. Here we go. Is that the whole cave? Alright, area exit. Hey, that wasn't too bad. We didn't fail. See, I just need you to come around and be negative. All right, let's head back home. Do my armies have movement? No. Okay. Yeah, let's head back home. Let's fight. Sometimes you just can't save everyone. Disagree. All right. Let's just try to brute force it. Damn you! Remember my name. Can't I know? 
I'm not nearly rich enough. Okay, let's see if we can get him out of combat. No, because... That we got the door thing. We did. I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's remember everyone else's. Okay. Whoops. Oh, he shouldn't be cleric. He should be Hell Knight. I messed that up. That's all right. I wanted to get cleric to 10 anyways, but oh, he should be Hell Knight. I'll live with it. All right, we'll do magic weapon. Quick light wound, so you can heal the skelly. Give me some restoration lesser. It's not the worst thing to happen. We'll make things right. Esmo, Axe, yes. Esmo, Axe, yes. Okay. I'm just gonna loot them all. We're headed back to town, anyways. Here. No. We're not camping an hour outside of Dresden. Let's manage it real quick. I don't think we have any money, but we have a little bit. Okay. So we have stables, arsenal, ranged, smithy. really afford any of this stuff. For sure. Appreciate it. Terry County, three one five. How much would this cost me?
Let's do it. Put it here. Put the ziggurat here. Now nah, we'll sell this and move it here. Okay. I didn't even think of the cigarette thing. Let's do this next. 